Hello friends, this video on chemical effects of current part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now this is going to be an interesting discussion. Now I said that current is nothing but charges flowing through a circuit. But in which direction these charges flow? Because since we have two terminals, a positive terminal and negative terminal. So whether the current flows from positive to negative terminal or the current flows from negative to positive terminal. So how do we know that on which direction this current will actually flow in a circuit? Now there are a lot of different opinions on this direction of electric current in a circuit. So first we will talk about something which is termed as electronic current. So what is this? Now as per the concept of electronic current, it says that the particles, the first question is what are these charges which are flowing? The charges which are constituting current, what are these charges? Now in most of the metals, these charges are nothing but electrons. Now I hope all of you know what are electrons. Electrons are negatively charged extremely tiny particles. They are present inside an atom and these electrons are mobile. That is they can move. So when we talk about electronic current, we say that electrons which are mobile so these mobile electrons act as charge carriers. So they are actually carrying the charge. So these are the charged particles. So in this case, what we are basically trying to say is the negatively charged particles are the charges which are flowing and because of their movement, current is being formed. So this type of current is termed as electronic current. Now, if you look at the circuit, carefully. So what do you see? This is the positive terminal. This is the negative terminal, right? So now in this case, electrons are negatively charged particles. So in which direction will the electrons flow? So the electrons being negatively charged particles, so they will start flowing from the negative terminal because the negative terminal is negatively charged so it has ample of negatively charged particles so the electrons will flow in this direction that is once the circuit gets completed this is how the electrons will flow right so this is the direction of flow of electrons now as per if you talk about electronic current electronic current says that since in most of the metals electrons that is negatively charged particles are the charge carriers so therefore the charges are moving from negative terminal towards the positive terminal on the external circuit and this is the direction of electronic current so that is why the current was termed as electronic current because here it was considered that electrons being mobile are the charge carriers. However, it is not necessary that in all objects electrons act as charged carriers. In many other circuits, even the positively charged particles also act as carriers. In fact, there are certain cases where both positively charged particle as well as negatively charged particles act as charge carriers. So when you learn about semiconductors in your higher classes, you will learn about positive and negative charge carriers. So this is one thing. So this is the concept of electronic current, which says that if electrons are the charge carriers, they should move from negative to positive terminal of the uh, circuit, of the external circuit. Now, there is another sort of convention which is followed and that is conventional current. What is this? This is the direction of flow of current as per the convention. Now, who started this convention? Somewhere around the year 1750s, there was a scientist named Ben Franklin. So there was this scientist called Ben Franklin. And what did he do? He performed quite a few experiments on static as well as current electricity. And he assumed or he considered that positive charges are the charge carriers. So as per Ben Franklin, positive charges, so they were, it was not the electrons, rather the positive charges are charge carriers. So that means 
As per Franklin, these positive charges, whichever direction the positive charges are flowing, that should be the direction of electric current. So he stated that the current direction should be the direction in which the positive charges are moving in the external circuit. Now looking at this circuit, what do you think? What will be the direction of the positive charges? Now obviously it is going to be the opposite of that of the electrons. So the positive charges would move in this direction. Right? So this would be the direction of the positive charges. Now as per Franklin, this should be the direction of current. So current should flow from the positive terminal towards the negative terminal through the external circuit. So now since this is this was kind of a convention which was set up long back by Ben Franklin, so this current is termed as the conventional current. So now what do you conclude from both discussions? So on one hand you have a uh something known as electronic current which says that electric current flows from negative to positive terminal. On the other hand, you have something called conventional current which says that current flows from positive terminal to negative terminal. Okay, now since conventional current is like a convention which is, fall, which is being followed since years and also there is no the, the concept that electrons are carriers that is also not a proven fact because in some substances electrons are charge carriers in some substances positive charges are charge carriers so none of them are like yes this is true we cannot say that so some cases positive charges are carriers some cases negative charges are carriers so what was done was in order to avoid confusion the conventional current direction was followed so that everybody will be on the same page. So that it, otherwise what will happen? Some people are doing their, their assumptions, their experiments, their calculations, considering the direction of electronic current. Some people are doing it considering conventional current. So that is going to create a lot of confusion. That is why um, a standard was set and that standard was that the direction of electric current is going to be the direction of con conventional current. So the convention which was given by Ben Franklin was followed and we say that electric current flows from the positive terminal of the battery towards the negative terminal of the battery through the external circuit. So please note we can say that electric current flows from positive terminal towards negative terminal through the external circuit. Now many people get confused. So now even though current as a physical quantity is a scalar quantity which is determined only by its magnitude. But we talk about the direction in which the current is flowing only when we are talking about an electric circuit where a current is flowing. So we want to know from which terminal to which terminal is the current flowing. So I think with this it is clear that we will always follow the direction of conventional current that is from the positive terminal towards the negative terminal of the external circuit. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.